Hello my dear students, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to discuss about 8 standard signs, crop production and management. In the previous class, we have discussed about irrigation and methods of irrigation. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about production from weeds. In this particular topic, you are going to learn what are weeds and what are weeds and weedicides, about weedicides and weeding and how we can able to control weeds. So all these things you are going to learn in this particular chapter. So before starting actual topic, I would like to ask few riddles based on science. In that first one, what is black when you buy it? What is black when you buy it? Red when you use it. Red when you use it and gray when you throw it. The answer is charcoal. Second one is what are the three R's that keep our planet clean? What are the three R's that keep our planet clean? So first one is reduce. First one is reduce. Second one, reuse. And third one is recycle. Okay. So these are the three R's which will keep our planet clean. Okay. So by saying this, I will start today's class it is production from weeds okay and in a field many other undesirable many other undesirable planets may grow naturally along with the crop so in a field many other undesirable undesirable means unwanted plants will grow along with the crops so those unwanted crop is actually not necessary okay these undesirable plants are called weeds. So what are weeds? In a field, many other unwanted plants which will grow along with the crop. Those unwanted plants are called weeds. Okay. And the removal of weeds is called weeding. What is weeding? The removal of weeds. Removal of weeds is nothing but weeding. So you have learned what are weeds and what is weeding okay and next weeding is necessary so weeding is necessary why it is necessary listen so weeding is necessary since weeds compete so weeds compete compete is nothing but establishing superiority over others so these weeds will establish their superiority over the crops so in what are the ways they are establishing superiority you can see water nutrients space and light okay thus they affect the growth of the crop and they are affecting the growth of the crop because these weeds will uh, absorb water nutrients sp uh, occupy space and will absorb sunlight so what happened it is establishing its, its superiority the plants will not get sufficient amount of nutrients water and it will not get sufficient amount of space so that's why what happened this will affect the growth of crop okay and some weeds interfere some weeds interfere come between even in harvesting so some words interfering in harvesting also okay so harvesting is nothing but cutting of crop after maturity right so if it is interfered in harvesting it will mix with the grains right so what happens if it is animals or human beings if they consume those grains so they'll get problem because these weeds are poisonous okay so these weeds are they may be poisonous for animals and human beings okay and next farmers adopt many ways so what happened farmers used to adopt many ways to remove this weeds and to control the growth of the weeds they have to adopt so what are those you can see here First one is tilling. So usually tilling will do before sowing, right? Tilling is nothing but loosening and turning of the soil. So usually we'll do tilling before the sowing. So this is helps in uprooting. So this is helping uprooting. Uprooting is nothing but pull out of the ground. So pull out of the ground. So this tilling helps the weeds pull out of the ground. Okay. And 
and killing of weeds which may then dry up and get mixed with the soil so what happen if we are uh, we are doing tilling before the sowing right so what happen in that particular uh, time during tilling the soil used to turn and it becomes loose right so what happen the weeds will get dry so if it is dried automatically it will mixed with the soil okay so when we want to do this tilling okay listen the best time for removal of weeds so best time for removal of weeds so when we want to remove this weeds so before they produce flowers they before they produce flowers and seeds so we have to remove the weeds before they produce flowers and seeds okay and the manual removal includes physical removal of weeds by uprooting or cutting them close to the ground the first one is manual removal includes physical removal of weeds by what uprooting so uprooting or else cutting them close to the ground okay uprooting is nothing but pull out of the ground okay these are manual removal of weeds and this is done with help of kurb so this is one instrument with the help of this we are doing weeding and a seed drill seed drill also we are using nowadays to uproot pull out of the ground see weeds we want to pull out of the ground so for that purpose we are using seed drill here okay and weeds are also controlled by certain chemicals so not only manually we can also control using certain chemicals those chemicals are called weedicides okay weedicide and for example for weedicides 2,4 d so 2,4 d is not d is nothing but dichlorophenoxy acetic acid okay so this is nothing but weedicide these are sprayed in the fields to kill the weeds so this chemicals we have to spray in the field okay so that will kill the weeds and they do not damage so they will not damage crops so they will damage only weeds they will not damage crops and the weedicides are diluted with water to the extent required and sprayed in the fields with a sprayer so how we can use this weedicides so we have to dilute with water and we can spray in the field do weedicides have any effect on the person handling the weedicide sprayer the question is in carefully children do weedicides have any effect on the person handling the weedicide sprayer so weedicide is nothing but chemicals which is used to uh, kill the weeds okay so that chemicals the farmers are spraying this weedicides whether they'll get any effect or not any problem or not okay so as i already mentioned the weedicides are sprayed during the vegetative growth of vegetative growth of weeds before flowering and seed formation so when we should do this weeding when we have to remove this weeds before flowering before they'll produce flower and seeds so that is the correct time to remove weeds okay and spraying of weedicides may affect the health of farmers so this spraying of chemicals will affect the health of farmers so what they must do so they should handle this chemicals chemicals very carefully okay they should use this chemical very carefully so they should use this chemicals very carefully okay and they should cover their nose they should cover their nose and mouth with a piece of cloth so what happen when they are spraying the chemicals so whenever the farmers they used to spray chemicals they should cover their nose and mouth using cloth or mask they can use to spray the chemicals they have to cover or else they'll get problems okay children today we have discussed about protection from weeds so in this class what are weeds so weeds is nothing but unwanted plants which will grow along with the crops and those unwanted crops crops are not required and they will affect the growth of crops okay so we have to remove those crops that cross uh, those weeds so those uh, removal of weeds is nothing but weeding and next establish weeds will establish superiority over plants crop plants crop plants okay so and we have to use uh, the farmers have to adopt some methods to remove these weeds and about weedicides so all those things we have discussed today 
in the next class we'll discuss about harvesting bye bye children